Hello everyone and welcome. I'm going to be showing you how I clean out my bagless vacuum. So this is going to be real easy and simple. If you don't want to use a hose or don't have access to a hose, just use a sink. And really you just need a little bit of water pressure and a bit of scrubbing, but you know, I don't feel like using a brush and it's hot outside and I felt like being outside playing with some water. So here we are. I disassembled the bin and that's pretty much all you have to do just for a thorough bin cleaning of a bagless vacuum. This is why I hate bagless because you don't have to do this if you have a bag vacuum. This is all we're going to have to do. Yeah, I sprayed you. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. What do you do? What do you You want to do it? Okay, here. Take the hose and spray that stuff off. Here, I'll flip it around and you spray. Get all the dirt off. Get inside there. Oh, you missed the spot. Spray that side. Is that everything? So there you have it. I'm gonna reassemble this and, well, I'm gonna let it dry for about 24 hours on the countertop. So make sure it's completely 100% dry before you reassemble, otherwise you're gonna have mold growth and that would be even worse than a dirty vacuum. So, quick way to kill something. Anyway, this is just for a Panasonic bagless vacuum, but you know, if you have a Dyson or something, usually these components are held on by screws or something, but this is just a couple of rings and everything just snaps together. So it's pretty easy to disassemble this particular unit, which is a Panasonic bagless, but you know, the concept's pretty much the same. You really want to get a good deep cleaning every couple of months of the inside of your bin. So I'm going to kind of touch this up and spray a couple of spots that he missed, but it's going to make your vacuum smell a lot better and also have a lot better suction. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you found this useful. Leave a comment if you got any questions. Thanks for watching.